Hi guys, in this video, I will show you how to track a specific product sale on your seller store with a Facebook pixel using custom conversions. The reason you want to do this is to know how many people actually bought that specific product and also to retarget these people to either upsell or cross sell other products or similar products to them or even exclude them from your future ads. Remember, once you install your pixel to your store, you can automatically track everyone who buys any product on your store. That is the overall purchase on your store. So whether the customer buys product A or product B or product Z, they are all registered as a purchase on Facebook as soon as you install the pixel to your store. I created a very detailed video showing you how to create and install the Facebook Pixel and test for these standard events on your store. You can check that out if you're unsure on how to go about creating and installing the Facebook Pixel to your seller store. So now, the question is, what if I am running an ad to a specific product? How can I track purchases for that specific product and not the overall purchases on my seller store? Well, how you do that is to create a custom conversion event. And with Facebook, you can create up to 100 custom conversions. That is, you can track up to 100 specific product sales. If you reach the 100 mark, you can delete the products you are no longer tracking to create new custom conversion events. To get started with this, you want to visit your product edit page. That is, edit the specific product you want to track sales for. So I'm going to go to the specific product I want to track sales for and right here on my seller store, I have two products. That's this test product and add new product. So I don't want Facebook to register anybody that buys either of this product, right? So I want to track this specific product, this add new product, right? So what I want to do is to come here and edit this product. So once you edit the product, you want to scroll down to where you have advanced options, right? So this is where you're going to see your unique product code. You can see unique product code for this product is VNWD, right? In order for you to get this um, unique product code, right? You need to first of all create your product first, right? So during the process of creating your product, you might not see this code. But after setting up the product, click on the create button. And once you've created your product, you can come back to the advanced option and your product code will be automatically generated for you. Please take note that the product code is unique to every of your products on your store. And this is what you need to create a custom conversion event. So let's try to buy this product and another product so you can see what I am talking about. So I'm just going to click on the product link. Uh, I'll buy this product. Okay. Let me check out. Continue. All right. So this is the first product. Add new product, right? So I'm going to go back and buy the second product. That I have on my store, which is a test product. Okay, so this is the first product which says add new product, and this is the second product which I call the test product, right? Now, if you look at the URL of this product, right, you see seller.co slash receipts. The number in the URL is the other receipt reference, which is unique to each customer. This is, however, not of importance for what we are trying to do. You need product code for this specific product, right? And then if I check this other product here, you will see that the unique product code is actually different from this one. So seller.co slash receipts, the unique product code URHY. Why the unique product code for this one is VNWD, right? So with this product code, you'll be able to actually create a custom conversion event where you can track the sales for only this product. So instead of using the general standard events you have on seller, which tracks all of your purchases on your store, right? You can just create a specific event that tracks only one product and not all products on your store. So how do you do this, right? How you want to do this is to go into your Facebook business manager. So this is our business manager, right? We already have our pixel installed. If you want to know how to install and create your pixel, I created a detailed video for that and you can just go check it out right so what you want to do is to navigate to the plus green icon and go to the bottom that says custom conversions before you come here you want to make sure that you have selected the correct advertising account right and how to do that is go to business.facebook.com select the right advertising account that has a pixel and then go to events manager and from events manager all you just have to do is to come to this green plus icon and 
navigate to the custom conversions. So now what you have to do is to click on create custom conversion. So the first thing you want to do is to name your events, right? I recommend you name each custom conversion according to the product, right? So if the product is XYZ, you can call the custom conversion event XYZ purchase, right? So this is the product I am trying to create an event for. So I can call this add new product purchase, right? So I'll just come to my event manager and say it is add new product purchase. Now naming your event with the product name, right? We help you differentiate between each custom event in the future. So when you have like 1500 custom events, you will want to be able to identify each and every one of them, right? So the next thing you want to do is to select a category, right? So you scroll down to where you have select your own category, and uh, use the drop down to select purchase. Then proceed to the next step, which is the most critical step, and it is very, 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 very important. This is where you will put in the trigger URL that would inform Facebook how to tell that you sold this specific product and how you do that is to select url contains make sure you have so this is the rule so you're telling facebook this custom conversion must meet all of these rules right so you want to make sure you select url contains and not url equals right i want to do you want to put in the url keyword you will notice that on every of seller purchase page the url is always seller.co slash receipt slash this um numbers which is actually specific to the buyer right and then the code of that product right so if you see this seller the code slash receive slash this number then the product code the unique product code then if you also see this product as well we have seller.co slash received then the unique product code right so what we need to create the custom conversion is we want to tell facebook that we want to track people that actually get to the thank you page and anyone that gets to seller thank you page must get to this page that says receipts, right? So what we're going to do is URL must contain receipt slash. Telling Facebook, anybody that gets to a page that has receipt slash on the URL, Facebook should count that person as a purchase. But that is not enough because you want to track the specific product, not just anybody that gets to receive slash because all of sellers thank you page has the receive slash on them right so what you want to do is to add another rule and this time around you want to copy the specific product code so this is specific product code that we are tracking right so we'll come here copy this and go into events manager and tell facebook oh do not just record everybody that visits a page on seller that has receipts in the url but that url must also contain this code so if this code is not on that url please do not record that person as a purchase for this particular ad that i'm about to run right so once you do this you can go ahead and add a value a conversion value basically the conversion value is how much your customer is worth to your business so it could be the amount of your products or the um, average amount of your store product right so um if you don't want to do that you can just leave that option and click on create then you click on done so now that i've created this custom conversion it's actually inactive and for it to be active we have to visit this page right but now that i've set this up and i'm running an ad right if someone visits any thank you page on my store let's say they visit this thank you page that does not have that code vwrm facebook is not going to register them as a purchase for me for that ad right except they visit this one that has the code vnwd right that is what facebook is going to register as a purchase for that particular ad for me so now that you've created this event, what you want to do is to test that it is active. And you can do this by visiting the page URL and using the Facebook Pixel Helper to check it out, right? So this is the page you're trying to track. Remember, this is the code, VNWD, right? So we are going to refresh this page. So now that I've refreshed this page, you can see our Pixel is active. Click on that. And you're going to see the name of the custom conversion add new products purchase so that means we have successfully installed a custom conversion on this page so if anybody visits this page and i'm running an ad with this conversion event right facebook page will register them as a purchase for that specific product
So if you have multiple products on your store and you want to track specific sales for specific products, then you want to create a custom conversion. Please note that this also works even when the customer has multiple products in their cart. The thank you URL will still carry receipts and the unique product code for all of the products the customers buy. So if the specific product you are trying to track is included in the product the purchased, Facebook can still track that specific product sale for you. Come here to refresh this page and this is going to be active. Right, so our custom conversion is now active. One more thing, in order to be able to find this event in your ads manager when you are trying to create an ad, right, you want to add this custom conversion event to an ad account. And how you do this is to come here and just click on the events, right? And it's going to drop down here like this and you just go to share. And you say share this with an ad account and select this and you're going to select the ad account. So this ad account I'm going to share it with. So if you have multiple ad accounts in your business manager, you can select the right ad account you want to use to run your ads. So I'm going to select this ad account. Click on share custom conversion. All right, so I can close this. So now when you try to run ads, you will be able to see this event in your ads manager. Let me quickly show you how that looks like. So once you don't share your custom conversion with um, an ad account, when you're trying to set up your campaign, you will not be able to select that custom conversion that you've created. So that's why you need to share it with an ad account. So that when you want to set up your campaign and you come right here, you're going to see the custom conversion event that you created, which is the add new products purchase. If you do not share it with your ad account, you will not see it right here under this option, right? And you'll not be able to use it. That is why you need to share your custom conversion with an ad account, right? So now the question you may have is, when do I use this custom conversion event or the normal standard event already created for my store by seller once I install the pixel. If you're running ads to your seller store to sell any of your products, you do not have to bother about creating custom conversion events. Just install the pixel to your store, test that it is working, assign it to an ad account and you are good to go. So whether a person buys product A or product B or product Z from your store, it doesn't really matter as your ad is directing people to your seller store. That means your ad is actually sending people to seller.co slash me slash your username, right? So it is okay to just use what you already have set up for you on seller. However, if you want to send people to just a specific product on your store, you want to definitely be able to tell when you sell the specific product and not when you sell any product on your store. So for this case, you would want to set up a custom conversion event with the unique product code of the specific product you want to track sales for. Note also that even with redirect links, this also works because redirect links get sent to a page first before being redirected away. And that page they are sent to has that receipt slash and also the unique product code of the specific product you are trying to track sales for. With this, you can track your sales via Facebook ads without having a website, landing page or sales page. So this is exactly how to create custom conversion events on your seller store and track purchase actions taken for a specific product on your store. And with this data, you can retarget customers or exclude them from your future ads.